What's up guys, iDevice Help here, and today Apple released yet another beta for iOS 10. Today they released iOS 10 beta 7 for developers. Earlier in the week they released iOS 10 beta 6 for developers, but today public beta testers can get their hands on beta 6 and developers can get their hands on beta 7 as of today. So all you have to do is go to software updates and the build number for the new beta of those interested is 14A5345. And there are some minor changes within this software, mainly inside the settings application. No new features have been added, no performance increase. Unfortunately, there's no new features, but there is some changes. I'm also going to be talking about the iPhone 5 and the performance on that, which continues to be great, by the way, but I'll get to that here in a few seconds. As we jump into the settings application, the first thing you'll notice, cellular data is now mobile data. You'll have all your toggles and controls as you normally would. Right here, you have access to turn on or off your data roaming, control your LTE. You also have one toggle there to disable the data from right then and there. It has been cleaned up a little as well. If we take a look down here, it used to be mail, contacts, and calendar. Now they all have their own separate extension to manage those separately. With that being said, Apple releasing so many betas, they could be preparing iOS 10 to have a flawless release. As we know, iOS 9 last year had a lot of hiccups, and Apple is probably aiming this year to release iOS 10 with no problems. I also wanted to point out that the iPhone 7 and 7 plus or 7 pro rumored announcement date is september the 9th we're about two weeks and a half away from that so this really indicates of apple pushing software quickly to test before the official announcement and official release of the new hardware if apple introduces the iphone on september 9th there's also rumored that the iphone would be launching on september the 16th so hopefully the software is flawless by the time the release and with all these beta releases it looks like apple is aiming for that now let's take a look here at the iphone 5 quickly and i wanted to go over some of the new beta performance if we take a look at the first score that'd be beta 1 the last image down here would be today's beta 7 and as you can see there the performance on the single core dropped about five points nothing major but the multi-core score did have a greater increase on performance which is also great as I've been covering the iPhone 5, and as I've mentioned before, the performance on the iPhone 5 is just absolutely amazing. I think Apple is doing a great job with such an old device and the performance of the latest software to support a device like this with the latest software and the performance on it is just amazing. But nonetheless, guys, if I find any additional features that have been added to the latest software of iOS 10, I'll let you guys know on a follow-up video. But as of right now, those are some of the minor changes. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like always, don't forget to click that like button if you enjoy the content. Content. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel. It's been I Device Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.